I'm back. So I kind of been taking a break and I was really inactive, but I thought what better way to come back than to just, you know, take things easy and just look at the anime that's coming up in the next year, in the next seasons. Uh, the next season looks pretty interesting. We got the Demon Slayer movie, which is the, the season that's airing right now. I haven't started watching anything yet. I mean, more Demon Slayer, what can go wrong? I, I feel like uh, Demon Slayer can really mess up too bad. Especially after season 3 was like the best season. And also I've heard from people that have read the manga that we're actually past halfway point for Demon Slayer, which is just crazy to me. Considering stuff like uh, Boku no Hero Academia already has, I think, six seasons now. And then we have Dr. Stone New World. I think from what I I have heard from manga readers again, that this is where Dr. Stone kind of goes <clears throat> down the hill. Although the scores of the first episode doesn't seem to reflect it. You know, I'm I'm going in with a, gr a bit of a, a grain of salt, as you say. Because I've heard Dr. Stone is going downhill and I know the manga was kind of axed and cancelled. And they had to end it abruptly. Now, Hell's Paradise. I think I already mentioned this in a short. I, I've read the manga. I've n I didn't read too much. But this just seems awesome. Uh, I think this guy that made it. If I'm not talking bullshit. Um, it was also one of Tatsuki Fujimoto's ass assistants. From Chainsaw Man. Yeah, Kaku... Uh, Yuiji Kaku, he previously worked as an assistant for Tatsuki Fujimoto. So not only is the creator of Dandadan, which also has been popping up everywhere recently, uh, been getting some love, but also, also other assistants from Ta uh, Tatsuki Fujimoto. Then we got Konosuba, um, which impressive 8.07. It's more Konosuma and I've seen that people really liked it. I'm not the biggest fan of Konosuba, I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I'm really not the biggest fan of Konosuba. But uh, maybe I can get into this one. Okay, so we got the second season of uh, Over the Moon for You, Tonikawa. The first season was alright. Uh, I think it, it had an interesting premise, but it kind of got boring like halfway through. I give it a 6 out of 10. Yeah, that was maybe a bit too harsh. 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 show. A bit mid, but what can you say? Oshinoko, my favorite. I love the Oshinoko manga. I think there's not one person in my friend group who is actively interested in anime and manga that I haven't recommended at the manga. I don't know how the anime is, since there's only, what is one episode out? Two, two by now? Maybe three? If it only lives up 25% to the manga, then it's still a great show. If it does the manga justice, it's it's just amazing. If the anime adaptation fails, we still got the manga, so... Ain't, ain't going to be too mad because the, the art is fucking amazing. But if we get a good anime as well, then... Hey, the better. Marshall. Um, okay, yeah, let's see if the One Punch Man 2 of this season will get any any love for anime haters. I know it has been criticized for being kind of a One Punch Man ripoff. I, I don't know. I had my fun reading the first few chapters. I'm also curious to see what the animation is like. Can we see a PV? Oh shit. Was this already a, a 3D shot? Okay, this was already a weird 3D shot. Okay. Yeah, the animation doesn't seem too special. Nah, okay. I'm not that convinced, honestly. I will give it a watch because it seems fun and lighthearted. But I don't think it will ever be anything like One Punch Man. We got the second season for this. For Ancient Magus Bride. Honestly, I feel like Ancient Magus Bride is kind of underrated. I'm, I gave it a 7 for the simple reason that I'm not the biggest fan of fantasy anime. But honestly... If you just like fantasy, then uh, this anime is probably more around 8 or 9 out of 10 for you if you're more into fantasy. Okay, we got Summer 20, 2023 with Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. 
Now I'm really hyped about this one. I think this season already kind of slaps more than the spring 2023 season. Although I have to say we have Oshinoko and we have Hell's Paradise and Demon Slayer. It's still a good season in my opinion. Though JJK season second season. JJK se second season can compare to Chainsaw Man quality if you ask me. Especially if they get the Shibuya incident arc into it. Not only the past of, of Gojo, if they get both arts in it, then the second season will be amazing. It might be anime of the year. Moshoku Tensei 2. I'm, I'm also really, 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 really hyped for Moshoku Tensei season 2. Especially because uh, our main protagonist, Rudeus, he grows up a bit, you know? Ain't that dumb little pervert anymore, from um, what I remember. The manga Masamune Kun's Revenge. Man, that's a name that I haven't heard in ages. When did the first season come out? Holy shit! In 2017. My man, his revenge took five years, and is not even probably done at the pace at at which the manga was going. It's one of those mangas that that goes on for eternity, and stuff never really happens. It's a nisekoi kinda. Probably a skip for me. We got Bleach. Um, I can wait to watch Bleach. I'm waiting till everything, all the 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 a thousand year blood war arc gets done. And then I'm gonna just marathon the whole thing. So Bleach will probably be cool, but I won't watch it. Then we got um oh oh god, is this after the the movie arc? But if this is after the movie arc. Then oh boy, if, if the NTR arc is in this one, then holy shit, anime watchers are going to get crazy. Bucket list of the dead. I think Gigak made a video on the manga. Seemed cool. Seemed like, like a sort of manga that had a very interesting premise. And sadly, mangas with a really interesting premise often have trouble continuing to live up to the expectation of the premise. If... If this is one of them, then it could be just an average manga. However, if those kinds of mangas live up to the expectation, then they can straight up be a banger. Because I feel like wacky ideas like this can translate better in anime form. The girl I like forgot her glasses. I've seen this recently. The manga seems really cool. The art style seems really cool. It's kind of like a Takagi-san. Horimiya. I'm, I wasn't the biggest fan of the anime. And I liked the manga till I feel like chapter 60. Then it got super repetitive and it started falling off. And that's what every Horiemiya reader will tell you. Oh, Bunga Stray Dots get gets a fifth season. Um, if I remember correctly, the fourth season was also this year, right? It started airing winter. So one season ago. So in winter it got season four and in spring no, in summer, it already gets season 5. What is going on? But yeah, I, I, I like Bungo Stray Dogs. I'm a fan of Bungo Stray Dogs. Let's check out Fall. Oh god, we got a shield hero <laughs> with the second season. Uh, third season. I'm sorry, third season. The second season was just so forgettable that I literally forgot about it. Spy Family Season 2. Uh, I'm looking forward to Spy Family Season 2. Spy Family is just... A really chill anime for me. Despite the fact that both parents are like super action heavy, you know. At the end of the day, you watch it for the slice of life, wholesome family aspect. And Spy Family does that great. Uh, Free Ren. Oh boy. So honestly, with Free Ren, I don't see a lot of mainstream potential, if you will say. Just because it's very similar to your, to your eternity. Which, it, it's kind of a really sad and slow story. And I feel like that's why To Your Eternity got overlooked. More Nanatsu no Taiza. Wh what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Did they pull an... Um, they pull a fairy tale and Eden Zero? Or what that fucking fairy tale ripoff was? Holy fuck. Yeah, that's a hard skip for me. Then we got Konosuba. Uh, oh, they, they put out more Konosuba. Rejoice, Konosuba fans. We finally get a second season of Saga of Tanya the Evil, which I think the manga has been going on with a lot of positive reception. Um, we got the third season of um, 
Classroom of Delete, which honestly, the cover is the is the exact same of the as the second season, right? Yeah, it's the same pose. What the fuck? Okay, just reusing the cover. We got One Punch Man season three, which holy shit, it's done by by Mappa, right? Oh no, Studio Unknown. Solo leveling, interesting. They changed the cover art. Uh, Uzumaki. Looking forward to Uzumaki. I hope Junjito will finally get um, the pleasure of having one of his works turned into an actual good anime. It only got four episodes. Well, I guess Uzumaki isn't too long. I can... I think I read it in one hour. That's everything that is to cover for for a good time. Oh, oh, we got Slime Season 3. That's also re really cool. I like Slime. Oh, and... Oh my god, there's still a lot. Okay, wait. Can't end the video just yet. We got ReZero Season 3, which got announced um, recently. Uh, what is this? Kage no Yusha. Um, the Eminence in the Shadow second season is also coming. Oh, uh, well, we don't know when it's coming, but we know that it's coming, which is cool. Other stuff, I mean, Arifureta, I don't really care about that. Day to Life, I don't care about that. Some people might care. Um, if you care, more power to you. Not too bad. 2023? Seems to keep the trend going of being an actual good year for anime again. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think of the year. Uh, and that's it. Uh, just a chill video for my return. Hope you liked it. And see you next time. Bye.